Hi everybody, welcome once again to another Low on Held video podcast, kind of just my daily ramblings what's been going on recently, and uh, honestly not too much as always, um, kind of weekend, which doesn't really mean much nowadays, but uh, for some reason we didn't really get to sleep till like almost 6 last night, and uh, kind of woke up and uh, decided to go on a little uh, little car ride, um, basically I decided to go ahead and ch- uh, scout out the area where I'm going for on an uh, interview, and uh Basically, that's kind of the distance it is. It is. It, uh, basically, I just went up straight down Alter 19, which is something I've never actually done before. Um, basically, going right from the start of uh, Alter 19 and uh, Elfers, and then just all the way down, it kind of dead ends into uh, Tampa Road, and uh, basically right into the Pinellas Trail. Um, it was a nice little drive. I've never actually done that drive before. It does take you down through like downtown uh, Tarpon Springs area, which is actually uh, pretty nice. Kind of slow, you know, because it's a downtown but a really nice uh, kind of almost scenic drive taking this alternate 19 all the way down um, and then on the way back up I decided to see how long it would take me to go from let's say if I just went up straight 19 um, like that to the, the place and uh, let's see if I can just drag that real quick that's how cool Google Maps is you can do cool stuff like that but uh, I decided to take that straight up 19 and ironically both ways were kind of the same amount of time because of all the lights and traffic on 19 compared to taking it on a uh, what should we call it on uh, Alter 19? But it was a nice little drive, and uh, after the drive, I kind of just did a little bit of shopping. I needed some uh, printer toner for my uh, printer cartridge, so I decided to stop by uh, Walmart because that's you know on the way and it's cheap. Um, ironically, at Walmart, I decided, hey, I should probably pick up some ramen, and then I saw donut sticks, and then they had mint Oreos on sale, which I don't know if you knew me, but uh, I love them, uh, the mint Oreos, and I uh, picked up a set of those. So. Got to admit it to Walmart, you got you go there for one thing, you end up buying a bunch of other stuff, but, you know, kind of not really important, but just interesting. Let's see how far we can zoom out here. Um, other than that, not doing too much. Uh, I did find this interesting article that basically uh, talks about the iPad, the Kindle, and the HP Slate. I never heard about the HP Slate before, in which case I guess that's basically like another kind of netbook thing coming from Microsoft. Um, it's just a nice little article of like what the what you know the pros and cons of each. And granted, we haven't really seen anything out of the HP Slate, and who knows how it's gonna be. But basically, a lot of people aren't happy with the iPad whatsoever. Basically, they're saying you know the iPhone's a better uh, you know piece of uh, technology than that. So not really too good for iPad, I guess. I mean, I'm not like I said, I'm not that interested in them. Honestly, if I was gonna get something like this. I would just get one of those cheap, like, $300 netbooks from, like, Walmart just to surf the net and do some basic word processing and uh, whatnot. But uh, I did find that was kind of interesting. I watched, you know, I read that. Also been watching and listening to some uh, Loading Ready Run, which is no big deal. And then uh, watching Dexter, kind of just relaxing. I uh, did play some Modern Warfare 2 on Xbox Live. Uh, let's see if anybody's on real quick. Um, it was kind of nice playing Warfare because we actually had it tonight, uh, an eight-person run- eight running crew. Which isn't necessarily rare, but it, it's very nice to see everybody kind of getting together and playing. And I mean, we were just running maps just because of our communication and knowing exactly who's good at doing what. Let's see who else is playing. Uh, got two people playing, of course, Mass Effect 2. Basically, I know uh, Josh and uh, Sarah are basically kind of plowing through that. And then you got Darren and Trent. Basically, they're still playing Modern Warfare on Rust, which is a map I love to death. Um, but it was pretty fun. We were all playing that uh I mean, other than that, not really doing much. I am kind of working on, let's see here, I'm working on my Mass Effect review. That's a tentative title for the review. Um, I'll probably work on that tonight and get that out of the way and then revise it uh, Sunday and get that up posted for my Monday post. It'll probably just be a nice, long Mass Effect 2 review of the pros and cons and my views on it, in which case I mentioned before, it's not really high on the, 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 the game of, you know, great. I doubt it's going to be in my top 10 of the year, unless the rest of the games this year aren't that great. I'm really not that happy with it, but that's just my personal opinion. It's still a good game, and people are enjoying it. Um, but other than that, that's kind of just about it. I'll probably be working on this review and uh, getting some sleep. Uh, so I'll uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you next time.